Hi and welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before and today we have a deer antler. Of course every single knife maker you've got to have on your list a nice bowie knife hey? and you've got to have an antler to be the end of your bowie knife. But we want to make this a bit better than this rather than having it porous as it is we want to just get all those little air holes and all those spaces in the cells filled with resin and to do that it's called stabilization now this 20 litre container here gets hooked up to this nine cubic feet per minute vacuum pump and sucks all the air out of this the gauge goes down to minus 29 hg and as the air gets sucked out the resin comes in so the weight of this actually increases so it's a must really i think for durability uh, longevity all sorts of things mold i don't know stabilization is the way to go so let's get the resin going and let's get to it and show you what's involved in stabilizing a deer antler so what we've got here is our deer antler immersed in some resin and here we have a piece of steel and we're just going to put that steel on there <laughs> if it doesn't roll away to stop that from floating up to the top that will do the job quite nicely now we're going to put that inside the vacuum chamber okay so what we're going to do we're going to turn the pump on and then we're going to slowly get the air out of this and we'll watch this gauge come down to minus 28 hg this is air to the outside so gradually we've got to close that off starting to create vacuum There we go, as I'm closing it off more and more, you can hear it. I'll show you the bubbles that starts to come from the outside. Check out the bubbles, look at that. That's a lot of suction in there, that is really sucking the life out of that. There's a lot of air in that um, deer antler. And as that starts to settle down, which I'll show you later, It'll give us an idea when it's ready to um, turn off. Normally about an hour and a half, but we shall see. But at the moment, here we go, just more of the same, just slowly getting less bubbles. You can already see there's less bubbles now. As we can see, the bubbling is still going, but it's slowed down a fair bit. It's been in there about 50 minutes. So still some time to go yet, but well on the way, well on the way. Okay, as you can see, we've just got a little bit of bubble on the left hand side. Just come and get ever so slightly, but being as though I've had it soaking under vacuum overnight, I'm not really concerned about that at all. I'm quite confident that this uh, antler is now full of resin. So let's get him out of there and I'll show you the next stage. Just undo this valve, let the vacuum out. There we go. No more vacuum, so we can take the lid off easy. And there's our product all ready to come out. Just draining the excess resin off here feels noticeably heavier. So let's now go and put it in some aluminium foil. And what we do, we wrap that as such nothing does need to be a good job just wrap it over just like that 
And we'll put that in the oven at 105 for an hour and a half. Okay, we've been in the oven now for a good hour and a half. Oh, oh. And here we go. Here is our beast here. Let's just unwrap him. There we go. This is um, now out of there. We've just got a little bit of resin on here just to clean off, to scrape off, which will come off easy. It's still a bit hot to touch with our hands, but now we have, gee, it's put on a fair bit of weight. Yeah, a lot. It's probably almost twice the weight, I think. Let's see if I can get a better look at it for you. There we go. There's not a bad look at the bone. Oh, nice and textured. But as I said, that will just pull off really easy. And we have our stabilised deer antler. There we go, that's a good shot of it. That looks pretty good. Now that's going to be rock hard to touch, waterproof, mould proof, everything proof. Feels completely different now. It feels like some high tech, uh, some really high tech hard plastic is what that actually feels like rather than the porousness of bone. It's no longer got a porous feeling attached to it, which is great. And that's why we stabilise stuff, because it makes stuff really good. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching and go and get yourself a stabilizer and start playing. Put some colored dyes in there and woohoo, won't you have some fun? Awesome, thanks.